Oh, okay. oh, I don't need to be on it. No. Are you recording? Yes. Okay, go. We love you. If you want to. Well, I know we can't go to pizza hut. Yeah. It's fine if you drop it off here. <laughs> <laughs> it is 7 p.m. You guys. <laughs> it, it's going to look like Ashley started our day eating her bowl of cereal and la de da, but no, that was dinner. That was her dinner tonight. We're making orange chicken and some grapes and some salad. Can I have some orange chicken too? Yes, you can have some orange chicken too. Jason and I have either been on the computer or the phone or running an errand to get more food. Oh my gosh, it's so noisy. Let me shut the door to explain our day. Or you saw Jason and I working on the computers because we have to cancel all of our travel plans and rebook all of it. And it's kind of a mess and it's kind of sad. I'm only happy about it today because there's a really high chance that we'll still be able to go soon. I'm not gonna say when, I'm not gonna dive into that right now because we haven't shored everything up and a lot of it is still, we might lose our entire trip, the entire cost. We'll talk about that later. We spent a lot of hours today working on that, trying to figure out what we should do, going back and forth, waiting on hold for an hour and a half. I think that one was with Alaskan Airlines. We haven't even attempted with American Airlines or American Express, <laughs> so it's been a day and a half. Um, I spent the morning, this morning, working with my sister on her YouTube channel as well, working through a lot of that process that I didn't, again, pull out the camera for. So literally, like, our day is gone. I know I've done stuff, but <laughs> it doesn't feel like it. And also, you saw the laundry that was built up. It's not built up, We, I've been keeping up on it, but it was very obvious that one child has gone to wearing pajamas for the entire, week because that's all I hung up. She had one outfit that wasn't pajamas and then Ashley did have a lot of outfits that weren't pajamas but um, it's just been a really long day but we wanted to bring you to the end of our day. We've got frozen grape and dinner going on. Chelsea turn it down to low. There you go. Thank you. And Abby is making quesadillas over there and I've got orange chicken about to go into the oven and dad is making Abby a quesadilla right there. Wait it's only half of that. Okay. You want to show, yeah, she wants it folded in half. Okay. I'm just eating like a lot of cheese. <laughs> it, it's a it lot is. of cheese. You can never have too much cheese. I knew he was going to say that. I was yeah. just going to say that. <laughs> Jason is always all about the extra cheese. Extra cheese. He's a little cheese. Yep. Okay, so luckily I had a whole stockpile of those yeah. dollar movies. Remember when I went and got those from the dollar store? I pulled out my little stash. Some of them we need to like check the rating on because they're not rated. <laughs> so I need to watch them first and then let the kids watch them. But one of them was Susie's Hope. It's probably like a Hallmark dog movie. It's just, you know, it's a feel good, the dog saves the day kind of a movie. But we need a little pick me up today to end our day. So we're gonna make dinner and then pop some popcorn. Right, Chels? Do you want popcorn, popcorn. for the movie? Okay, eat your dinner and then we'll make some popcorn and we'll watch the show and we'll let you know how it is. I have frozen grapes. I've already got a bag of grapes out. Oh, but we're supposed to touch those. Those are your grapes. I'm offering them to her, not to you. Jason. <laughs> give me the frozen. I love frozen. <laughs> I like frozen grapes on a hot day, not on a cold afternoon. It might be a bit. I love so, cold um, things on cold He froze days. all the grapes, that's what we're talking about. And I wanted them fresh. I love frozen grapes on the beach no. in the summertime, but not necessarily when it's 40 degrees outside. Uh. Chelsea Marie, <laughs> every time I turn this camera on around you. <laughs> it, he uh, burnt, it was <gasps> so earlier. <laughs> I really kind of burnt. It wouldn't come out. So I waited a while. Tried to get him, nothing came out. <laughs> I just smacked her in the face. Hey, come here, here's your plate, here's your plate. Okay. And then, um, we need to cut it, a while babe. later, it came out and it was like, Ugh. Okay, Chelsea. <laughs> yep. Order's up. Order's up. But, um. And we also called Grandpa. <laughs> Yeah. Chelsea, you can't eat over on the couch, my friend. Can I sit on the floor? No. No, you can sit couch at the too. table. Yeah. Okay, then, no. then we go get be mom moment for a second. We did call Grandpa and uh, ask him to bring us pizza just as a joke because he likes to go to the pizza. He goes, he likes to go to Pizza Hut with all of us as a family, and we can't do that now. So we joked with him and we said, 
Well, if you'd still like to bring us a pizza, we can enjoy it that way, but it was just kind of a funny joke, but we wish Grandpa well in isolation <laughs> over at his house. We can't like hang out with him. But we're gonna get dinner done and then watch this show. Just wanted to show you the chaos of our day staying inside all day long. And it, we did, well, we went out. We, they didn't. We mailed some packages. So oh, we're there's gonna... a long, lot of people at the... <laughs> at the Jack, Jack, what is it called? Jack, Jack in the Box? In the box yeah. We're out. We went to the post office and went to his brother's house to get more product and drop more product off. Luckily, he's able to work out of his garage and continue some of his business. We're driving around town and it's like 9.45. Kids are in bed. On a Two of them are in bed. Friday night. No, yeah, it's a Friday night and this is the Target parking lot. We gotta turn, because it just looks like lights at this point. You gotta uh, turn into it a little bit more. Into it. Yeah. And there's no one here. No one there, maybe a homeless person over there. Well, I think it's just probably staff, but there's no one here in the parking lot. Everything's closed. The only thing open around here is if you have a drive up or um, you can make the food to order and you can pick it up at the door. The Five Guys is open right down the street and they had all these yellow cones sitting in front of the doorway so you couldn't even enter the building. It was the staff would come out to your car and drop off the food. It's just surreal. Jason just asked me, like, do you want to go anywhere? I'm like, there's, there's nowhere to go. It's just tough being home all the time. It gets boring. Yeah. We did a lot of stuff, got stuff done, but I don't and know. And tomorrow is the last sunny day. Oh, really? Oh. Until April 3rd. Crap, I gotta go on a hike. April, oh, crap. April 3rd. Today is March 20th. Oh, you can't see us. Um, it's March 20th, and we will have rain until April 3rd. At least April, April 3rd. And we know that's legit. That's not just like, oh, a morning sprinkle. It's been pretty heavy when we have Yeah. So... I'm gonna get the kids outside in our front yard or backyard tomorrow. Go for maybe a small walk. My allergies make it so I can't go outside very much, which kind of sucks because it's beautiful weather. It's, it's been the pollens and stuff are definitely kicking up. Yeah, but I don't know. It's just it's ugh. everyone's going through it, and I think um, someone, one of the YouTubers that I follow that helps people create YouTube channels. Oh, no, no, no. It was Qua from Karen. And, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, but he was like, you know what? Now's the time to start YouTube <laughs> because you're home and you have a lot of free time and all people are doing is sitting watching YouTube. And it's true. I've gained 76 or 78 subscribers since this whole thing started. Thank you. People. Thank you. Thank if you you're new. <laughs> um, if my, yeah, so my watch time has gone up and I appreciate it because for the first time it's actually working well so well it worked great until they started changing things well anyway it's another thing but <laughs> it's in but he said it's really interesting for him this guy that I was watching his YouTube channel he said it's really interesting for him he's changed kind of what he watches on YouTube now he goes to find the channels from all over the world to learn what their daily life is like during this whole thing. Because we're all stuck at home, so what does your life look like? And what are your struggles? What are you worried about? What are you happy about? What do you find joy in? And my, you know, when you have all this like going to pot. What's working, what's not, like right. whether and you're in Europe, Middle East. I mean, I haven't heard much about like South America yeah. and other places. Not that our media covers other countries very well, but you know what's happening where you're at yeah I'm curious so you can leave I love I love following along unfortunately with this unfortunate event I guess but I, I find some kind of solace in having conversations I've said this before this week that I'm finding some camaraderie and like we can do this together and how are you doing and checking on checking in on people when we can't check on them any other way you know and so leave your comments below. I actually had uh, see a good friend of mine uh, we um, did this guy ride in my butt like you go around no stop anyways I had a good friend of mine who we usually see each other a couple times in a week just you know hey what's up and we haven't seen each other and you have guy sure, nights a couple sure, times a month yeah, a couple times I wish once a month <laughs> And, That's up uh, to you, dude. I don't prevent it. 
Go on. <laughs> Anyways, he Skyped or uh, FaceTimed. Skyped. This dates him. You don't Skype it's, anymore. Dude, Skype still exists. FaceTimed. And we just chatted while we each like watched TV or whatever and just, hey, what's up? How's the family? And it was, uh, it was really good. It was just nice. It was good to have that kind of uh, friendly contact. I'm a social person and it was nice. I appreciated it. Yeah, so that's why the kids have been um, Marco Poloing Grandpa. Jason called it TikTok today. <laughs> He got a couple eye rolls I, from I the teenagers. I don't Marco Polo, okay? <laughs> I don't think Grandpa has TikTok, I, I guarantee you. Marco Polo is a struggle. Let me tell you about Marco Polo and Grandpa. So w the kids will send Grandpa a Marco Polo and he loves to see them and their giggles and especially now that he's in, you know, his own isolated quarters. Um, and so I just let them giggle and play and, and whatnot um, on their Marco Polo videos that they send him but he doesn't ever respond because he doesn't want to be on camera. Ironically, he's a photographer, but um, he doesn't Marco Polo them back. He just sends a text message. <laughs> he's like, hey, thank you for the Marco Polo. And it's such a generational thing. He just doesn't want to utilize the platform in the way it's supposed to. But um, we just like the interaction. Chelsea actually used Marco Polo today. Um, she asked if her her cousin was on I think it's called prodigy and it's a uh, I've shown it in the video before one of the features of it is teaching her how to type and then there's other games and then they can also earn points from doing the game doing the schoolwork I guess to go into worlds and create maybe kind of like Minecraft or something like that I haven't really it's watched it game. but you can ask your friends to join you in your world and and whatnot online and so she Marco Poloed her cousin today and they sat Marco Poloing each other back and forth until they found each other in their little digital world and it was just so cute they did it for like an hour um, and just listening to their giggles and oh I found you I found you and there's your house and there's you know and it was just that's how our world is right now it's all digital and communicating with each other and I don't know so last the day reach out to people I, you know, talk to my sister and I need to reach out to my other sisters, check in on my mom and she feels sad because she's like, everyone's making me do self-confinement. And it's true because we want to keep her safe. So anyway, we are going to head back home. Oh, that's Abby's friends. <laughs> Abby's friends all FaceTime each other all day long. They can't handle not being social and that's their way of connecting. So find your oh, way what of- What was that? What was that? FaceTime? That was FaceTime. Oh, okay. He's learning. It's okay. Shush. <laughs> Find your way of connecting with people to keep your spirits up. Connect with us if that will help you guys. Let us know how we can help you. Let us know if you want to know what's going in our on in our area. If we're ahead of you or if we're behind you. If you have questions, if you have concerns, if you have ideas. Oh, oh goodness sakes. Let us know down below. Sorry our videos are a little bit boring. If we kind of get into this you know, routine of this, um, they might get more interesting and I might get more motivation. Take care. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. And week one is officially done in isolation. That's crazy we're to me. We've got four more to go. At least. I sure hope not, otherwise we're in so much trouble. <laughs> we can handle this. Take care, you guys. Good night. So Chelsea um, batted the ball down and we haven't put it back up. You need to put the ball back up tomorrow. Keep the keys in the car so you can pull the car forward. I'll check back here at the back right now. It's gonna like totally get hit by the garage. No more. No, you're good. Here, take the key, man. Get the stuff out. All right.